some relationships, some marriages, some people, they may believe in the 50-50 principle where you do your part and they do their part. Pretty much everyone have their fair share. The 50-50 principle makes earthly, carnal, demonic sense. When it comes down to God, the 50-50 principle doesn't exist because I am going to do what I can to please you and you are going to do what you can to please me. We are going to do what it takes to make peace, to get the job done. When you adopt this mentality, there is going to be love, there is going to be peace wherever you are at. Let me say this, and I am not saying this for you to give me roses. <laughs> I am not telling you this to make you think highly of me. I am telling you this to explain my point. There is a person that I help out often. And many of the time, this person doesn't ask for help. But I help anyway, why not? This person told me that he or she was going to help me on a certain day. A week or more have passed and still no answer. <laughs> if that person was to call me now, I would be more than happy to help out that person. Kevin, that makes no sense. That person is just using you. Perhaps. But someone's treatment toward me has nothing to do with how I treat that person. Someone's treatment toward me has nothing to do with my treatment to them. Nothing. It has no bearing. Aren't we going to reap whatever we sow? Isn't God monitoring everything that we are doing, thinking, and whatever else? So in saying that, what am I losing? Nothing. Nothing. When you do good deeds for people, it is the same as doing it unto God. When you do good deeds for people, it is the same as doing it unto God. So, whether that person appreciate me or not, whatever, it doesn't matter, does it? Of course not. <sighs> My Lord. Okay. Let me say this too. Don't be the person that has strings attached. What are you speaking about, Kevin? Okay. 
Sometimes when people do things for you, they have strings attached. For instance, you ask a person for help and they may say okay. Now you are thinking they are helping you out the kindness of their heart. No. What happens, you receive a call, hey, I need your help and you have to help me because I helped you and I need you to come now. So they are pretty much obligating you, which is wrong. It is demonic. If you want anything, say it before you do it. Make an agreement, make an agreement beforehand. Don't wait until after you do something for that person, then pretty much obligate, force that person to do things for you. That is not right. That is demonic. If I come to you and say, hey, I need your help and I can pay you $20. Now, that is fine because I am making an agreement with you prior, beforehand. There is no 50-50. No, stop that. When you operate in this 50-50 paradigm or have this strings attached thing, how can you get blessed by God? How? If you plan on going to heaven, what do you believe you are going to do there. Well, Kevin, I am going to sing, dance, play around, so on and so on. Okay, but you are going to serve in heaven as well. So if you have a problem with humbling yourself and serving now, how can you do it in heaven? How? You won't be able to, right? I think so. Well, Kevin, I don't want to serve because it makes me look really low. Well, that is a pride issue. A pride issue. Which needs to change. Because how can you get into heaven with pride? You have to be humble. You have to be... If you say that you are serving God, you are going to be a servant of people as well. If you say that you are serving God, you are going to be a servant of people as well. So if you can't serve people, I am not saying that you have to sin. If you can't serve people, how can you serve God properly? How? There is no 50-50. So stop looking at what others are doing and focus on what you are doing for others. Make sense? I pray that it does. You have to adopt this mentality. If you don't, how can you advance in God if you are not humble? 
Because the higher you rank in God, the more humble you have to be. So if you can't be humble, you are going to stay very low in God or you are going to be lukewarm but most likely lukewarm. You are going to stay that way. Well, Kevin, you know, bad things happened to me when I was younger. I was mistreated and blah, 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 blah. Look, it really doesn't matter. You need to change. So get that childlike behavior out of yourself and change. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.